Welcome back to The Fame, your go-to channel for the latest and greatest in reality TV news. We've got some major updates from the beloved show My Big Fat Fabulous Life, so let's jump right in. First up, we're diving into an emotional update from My Big Fat Fabulous Life. Glenn Thor, Whitney's beloved father, has shared some heartfelt reasons why he decided to stay with her instead of moving to Alabama. Let's get into the details of this touching story. Next, in an exclusive sneak peek from TLC, we see Whitney walking into a room to meet her ex, Lenny Alehat. The moment she steps in, she's greeted by the unexpected burst of a confetti cannon. But the real surprise comes when Lenny drops the bombshell news. I had a baby. We've also got some shocking news from my big fat fabulous life. Whitney Thor's house was recently targeted in a distressing incident involving hate mail, eggs, and unwanted attention, let's dive into what happened and how Whitney is handling this unfortunate situation. Then we have an exciting update on Whitney Way Thor from My Big Fat Fabulous Life. Whitney recently opened up about her seamless bond with her half-sister Angie. Let's dive into the details of this heartwarming family reunion and what it means for Whitney's future. Moving on, we dive into the latest from My Big Fat Fabulous Life and the intriguing topic of Whitney Way Thor's weight loss journey. Why isn't Whitney sharing the full details? What might she be hiding? Stay tuned to find out. After that, we've got an intriguing update about Whitney Way Thor. The star of My Big Fat Fabulous Life, Whitney has been a prominent figure in the plus-size community since her show debuted in 2015. With the 12th season on the horizon, Whitney is opening up about some surprising and heartfelt experiences. Finally, we have a heartfelt and troubling story about Whitney Way Thor, star of My Big Fat Fabulous Life. Whitney has always been open about her struggles, but recently, the relentless bullying she has faced took a particularly dark turn. Let's dive into her story and see how she almost considered quitting TV altogether due to the cruelty she's endured. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you never miss an update from the fame. Let's get started. Today, we're diving into an emotional update from my big fat fabulous life. Glenn Thor, Whitney's beloved father, has shared some heartfelt reasons why he decided to stay with her instead of moving to Alabama. Let's get into the details of this touching story. Over the past few years, Glenn Thor's life has taken some dramatic turns. He tragically lost his wife, Babs, the love of his life, just a few winters ago. Additionally, he discovered more about his long-lost daughter, Angie, and her family, a revelation that changed his life forever. Initially, Glenn planned to move to Alabama to be closer to Angie and make up for lost time. However, in a new clip from My Big Fat Fabulous Life, we learn that things didn't go as planned. In this revealing video, Glenn shares his reasons for choosing to stay behind with Whitney Way Thor instead. Despite his excitement about a new chapter in Alabama, Glenn found it hard to leave his home and family behind. The official TLC Instagram account shared the touching clip with the caption, Glenn is choosing to stay close to home. In the video, Glenn explains to Whitney and Hunter, you know, it hasn't been that long since your mom's not been with us. And Babs is only about 15 minutes away from here. I visit her at least once a week, sometimes two or three times, and I just couldn't bear the thought of not being close to visit her. In a heartfelt confessional, Glenn continues, I was able to go to Alabama and spend some time with Angie and her family, but really moving to Alabama after I thought about it was probably not the right thing for me at this point. Losing Babs was catastrophic in my life, and that's a good reason for me to stay close to family and have their support because I miss her terribly. Fans of my big fat fabulous life have shown immense support for Glenn Thor. Leaving comments expressing their admiration and sympathy, many appreciate his decision to stay close to home and cherish the memories of Babs. What do you think about Glenn's decision to stay with Whitney instead of moving to Alabama? We'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Next, we have some jaw-dropping news from the upcoming season of My Big Fat Fabulous Life. Get ready because Whitney Way Thor is in for a monumental surprise that you won't want to miss. In an exclusive sneak peek from TLC, we see Whitney walking into a room to meet her ex, Lenny Alehat. The moment she steps in, she's greeted by the unexpected burst of a confetti cannon. But the real surprise comes when Lenny drops the bombshell news. I had a baby, Whitney, taken aback and hardly believe what she's hearing. Stop, she responds in disbelief. Only 
for Lenny to confirm, yeah, I did. As Whitney processes the shocking revelation, Lenny invites her to sit down. Clearly overwhelmed, Whitney stammers, oh my god, you almost just, I'm like I'm passing out, oh my god, I have chills, oh my god, the two share a heartfelt hug as Lenny proudly declares, I'm a dad now, speaking to the camera, Whitney shares her reaction, a couple of months ago, right before I left for France, Lenny dropped the biggest bomb on me, not only was his girlfriend Allison pregnant, but she was seven months along, so to say the least, I was extremely surprised, she shocked and also thrilled. Lenny then shows Whitney photos of his new baby girl. In a confessional, he explains, So the past year, I started dating a really wonderful woman and very quickly I got her pregnant. At one point, I didn't think I would ever have Dildren just due to my age and all the chaos that has happened in my life. But now Allison and I have a little girl named Genevieve, and she's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Whitney beams with pride as she looks through the photos and offers her congratulations to Allison. Am I ever gonna meet her or? Whitney asks, to which Lenny simply replies, yeah. Lenny first announced the birth of Genevieve in December 2023, sharing photos from his first day as a dad with the caption, meet the love of my life, Genevieve, my daughter. In May, he revealed that his daughter is called Evie by her family while paying tribute to Allison on Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day, and I gotta shout out my lovely girlfriend who created our perfect daughter, Evie, he wrote. What an incredible turn of events for Lenny and Whitney. This season of My Big Fat Fabulous Life is already shaping up to be full of surprises and heartwarming moments. Next, we've got some shocking news from My Big Fat Fabulous Life. Whitney Thor's house was recently targeted in a distressing incident involving hate mail, eggs, and unwanted attention. Let's dive into what happened and how Whitney is handling this unfortunate situation. On a recent episode of My Big Fat Fabulous Life, Whitney Thor invites her father, Glenn Thor, and brother, Hunter Thor, over for a home-cooked meal. Attempting to recreate her late mother Babs Thor's beloved chicken and dumplings recipe, Whitney admits she has no faith it will taste the same. Nevertheless, her family is willing to give it a try. As they enjoy their meal and catch up, the Thor family is startled by loud banging noises outside, followed by the doorbell ringing. A member of the production team informs them there's something at the door. Whitney heads to the front door and finds a card and flowers. Hunter goes outside to investigate further. Using his cell phone flashlight to scan the area, to his dismay, he discovers cracked eggs on the window, revealing that someone had egged the house. Whitney is understandably upset and suspects that the perpetrator waited until the camera crew was present to gain attention. Whitney grows emotional as she reads the card, which turns out to be hate mail. She retreats to her bedroom, revealing that this isn't the first time she's received such nasty messages, but it's different and more invasive when it happens at her home. Reviewing her doorbell camera footage, she suspects the culprit might be a man, though the handwriting on the card appears feminine. Adding to the emotional strain, Whitney opens up about the cruel comments she receives about her family. Viewers have sent hurtful messages suggesting her father, Glenn, is embarrassed by her and happier with a pretty and thin new daughter who is married with children. Despite these comments, Whitney reassures herself and her viewers that her father loves her dearly and thinks she's the best in the world. She tries to stay strong, but these attacks are undeniably hard to ignore. Whitney Thor's experience is a stark reminder of the challenges faced by public figures, especially when it comes to unwanted attention and online hate. We at The Fame stand with Whitney and commend her bravery in sharing her story. Next, we have an exciting update on Whitney Way Thor from My Big Fat Fabulous Life. Whitney recently opened up about her seamless bond with her half-sister Angie. Let's dive into the details of this heartwarming family reunion and what it means for Whitney's future. The long-running TLC show, My Big Fat Fabulous Life, has been capturing Whitney Way Thor's highs and lows since 2015. Whitney has received immense love and support throughout the series, but she is no stranger to intense reality show-worthy moments. Season 11 of MBFFL brought plenty of drama for Whitney and her family. Amidst mourning the loss of their beloved matriarch, Barbara Babs Thor, Whitney uncovered a surprising family secret. She has a half-sister from her father, Glenn. In episode 2 of season 11, Glenn revealed a major bombshell to Whitney and her brother Hunter. Back in 1968 while training to serve in the Marines, Glenn had a romantic affair with a woman named Jackie. Before being shipped to Japan, Jackie revealed she was pregnant, and the baby was subsequently given up for adoption. The Thor family eventually met Angie Vincent and her daughter Jamie in Alabama. 
Since then, Whitney and Angie have bonded off-camera, but fans are eager to know if their newfound sisterhood continues to thrive. In an exclusive interview with Distractify, Whitney shared exciting news about her relationship with Angie and what fans can expect in MBFFL Season 12. She revealed, Angie's on this season, and my niece gets married on this season, so that's really exciting. Whitney feels incredibly fortunate for the seamless transition in getting to know her half-sister. Despite the life-changing news, the Thors embraced Angie without any hesitation. Whitney's openness and willingness to meet Angie without faulting her dad for keeping the secret played a significant role in this smooth transition. Whitney shared, I had so many people reach out to me like, oh, I had a similar situation or the same situation, but we just got really lucky. There was no infidelity or something sordid. There was nothing like that. It was just that we didn't know and only my mom knew. Although Glenn held on to his secret for over 50 years, Whitney chose to move forward without punishing him. She also mentioned that Glenn and Angie are slowly finding their groove, even though Glenn was especially nervous about meeting his eldest daughter. Their connection is growing organically, as the Thors never wanted to force a relationship with Angie. Whitney emphasized, it's been really easy for us, and I know that that's probably not the case for a lot of families. Angie has parents, she has a wonderful father that raised her, and so my dad never wanted to overstep those bounds. As a single, plus-size woman in her 40s, Whitney takes comfort in knowing she has more family outside of Glenn and Hunter. She expressed her gratitude, saying, as a single woman, I take so much more comfort in knowing that I have my nieces and my nephews and Angie. My dad's almost 80, and I don't want to be alone in the world, and now I won't be because I have other family now. And so that's really comforting. I'm very, very, very grateful. What a beautiful story of family and newfound connections. We can't wait to see more of Whitney, Angie, and their growing bond in the upcoming season of My Big Fat Fabulous Life. Next, we dive into the latest from My Big Fat Fabulous Life and the intriguing topic of Whitney Way Thor's weight loss journey. Why isn't Whitney sharing the full details? What might she be hiding? Stay tuned to find out. My Big Fat Fabulous Life has returned to our screens, bringing us closer to Whitney's life. Over the years, her weight loss journey has been a central theme of the show. Despite her numerous efforts to shed excess weight, the results weren't always what she hoped for. However, this hasn't stopped the TLC star from living her fabulous life to the fullest. Whitney has been a significant advocate for obesity patients, highlighting their struggles and normalizing being overweight. As she enters her 40s, fans have noticed a major change in her figure in the season 12 premiere. This change has sparked curiosity among viewers, with some speculating that Whitney might be skimping on the details of her fitness journey. Whitney has always been open about the challenges she faces, including cyberbullying and the struggles of obesity. Recently, she shared the impact of her mother's passing on her life, including her weight loss. Whitney revealed that she lost 50 pounds quickly after her mother's death and has been adjusting to the new changes in her body. Despite these revelations, fans believe she might be withholding the full story behind her weight loss. Soapdirt reports that many TLC viewers want Whitney to delve deeper into her weight loss journey. Some feel she downplays her results, making it seem like they don't matter to her. This has led to speculation about whether she lost more weight after filming. In a recent teaser shared by TLC, Whitney shows off her improved flexibility while working out with her friend, Todd. This clip has garnered a lot of attention, with fans praising her hard work and positive attitude. However, not everyone has been kind, with some leaving negative comments. Despite this, Whitney supporters continue to cheer her on. That's all for today's update on Whitney Way Thor and her weight loss journey. What do you think Whitney might be hiding? Next, we've got an intriguing update about Whitney Way Thor, the star of My Big Fat Fabulous Life. Whitney has been a prominent figure in the plus-size community since her show debuted in 2015, with the 12th season on the horizon, Whitney is opening up about some surprising and heartfelt experiences. Whitney Way Thor has always been a beacon of body positivity and self-acceptance, sharing her life and struggles with fans for nearly a decade. As she approaches her 40th birthday, the upcoming season promises to delve deeper into her personal journey, including the challenges she's faced with online bullying due to her size. Despite her her visibility and influence, Whitney recently revealed to Distractify that she doesn't feel a sense of community within the fat or plus-size influencer circles. She noted that while many plus-size models and influencers support each other, she hasn't experienced the same camaraderie.
Whitney rose to fame with her viral video, A Fat Girl Dancing, and has since become one of the most recognized faces in the fat community. However, she shared that the unwanted noise and judgment, especially around her recent weight loss, has left her feeling disconnected. She candidly stated, I'll be honest, I've never really felt part of the fat community. I don't have community outside of a couple of fat friends. Whitney attributes her limited connections to her choice to keep her circle small and avoid internet drama. She emphasized, I don't do the internet. I don't be doing drama. Addressing her recent weight loss, Whitney made it clear that it's not her responsibility to justify her body changes to anyone. After losing 100 pounds while grieving the loss of her mother, Barbara Babs Thor, she faced criticism from some fans, yet Whitney remains focused on her well-being and the positive impact she feels, I feel like I do my job, and I feel like I do it very well, Whitney said. I represent fat people every day on television and all over the world in places where there are no fat people. I give people a mirror to look at themselves on television, and when I go to bed, I feel really good about that. Whitney also had a powerful message for her critics. And anything else anybody has to criticize about me, I would tell them to get their reality TV show and tell me how hard that is in 10 years. Whitney Way Thor continues to inspire and challenge societal norms, even when she feels isolated from the very community she represents. We can't wait to see more of her journey in the upcoming season of My Big Fat Fabulous Life. What are your thoughts on Whitney's revelations? Finally, we have a heartfelt and troubling story about Whitney Way Thor, star of My Big Fat Fabulous Life. Whitney has always been open about her struggles, but recently, the relentless bullying she has faced took a particularly dark turn. Let's dive into her story and see how she almost considered quitting TV altogether due to the cruelty she's endured. Whitney Way Thor is no stranger to online bullying. For years, she has fielded unsolicited comments on her weight, personal relationships, and family. However, after the tragic passing of her mother, Barbara Babs Thor, in December 2022, the attacks reached a new level of vicious in the season 12 premiere of TLC's My Big Fat Fabulous Life, viewers witnessed a disturbing incident where someone egged Whitney's house and left a brutal note referencing her late mother. This was the first time such an attack was captured on the show's cameras, though Whitney revealed that this wasn't an isolated incident. She shared with Showbiz Cheat Sheet that she has faced terrifying real-life harassment, including bricks thrown through car windows and break-ins at her parents' house, even landing her on a hit list that required FBI intervention. The relentless bullying took a significant toll on Whitney's mental health. The cruel comments, especially those targeting her late mother, shocked her to her core. For a time there, I was close to suicidal over it. Whitney confessed, visibly emotional. She even contemplated quitting TV, finding it overwhelming and disheartening to see how awful people could be. Despite the intense challenges, Whitney credits her wonderful support system for helping her through her darkest days. However, she emphasizes that the advice to just ignore the trolls isn't practical. They're not just trolls. They're human beings with hands that are typing these things, she stated. Although she has become better at managing her mental health, the constant negativity is something no one should get used to. Whitney does her best to restrict and block negative commenters on Instagram, but it's a struggle to completely avoid them. She wants to maintain her connection with genuine fans through social media, making it impossible to fully escape the harsh comments. Her therapist encourages her to share her experiences with others facing similar situations, but Whitney admits it's tough since she doesn't have many friends in the reality TV world. Whitney Way Thor's journey is a poignant reminder of the real impact of online bullying, as she continues to share her life with viewers, she urges everyone to remember that their words have meaning. If you wouldn't go up to someone in person and say it, don't say it online, she advises. At the fame, we stand with Whitney and hope her message encourages more kindness and empathy online. Thanks for tuning in, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on your favorite reality TV stars. Until next time, take care.